Hey y'all, I am meeting my grandparents for lunch in about an hour. Also, I do have a date later this afternoon, like five o'clock-ish. And so I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone with this get ready with me. I want to look date appropriate too. By the way, if you hear Fortnite in the background, that would be my little brother. If you have kids, you probably understand Fortnite 24-7. By the way, fellow Texans, let me know if I'm weird for bringing this up, but my mom got me this shirt, and uh, they're from Sam's. She's got me a couple before. They're really cute shirts. I like it. So it has Texas, same logo, big on the back, and then Texas established 1845 on the sleeve, except Texas was not established in 1845. It was established in 1836. It became a state officially in the United States in 1845, but like... It's 1836. Let me know if I'm weird for like thinking this is weird. I am going to try to put a little bit of curl in my hair if I have time, hopefully. I washed it last night so I could use a little bit of body. All right, for primer, I am going to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion Original on my eyes and the 100% Pure Mattifying Primer on my face. This one's getting low. I can't, like the pump doesn't work anymore. I have to dig it out. Uh, so I am kind of, I think this will probably go in my makeup basket next month so I can finish it up. So for foundation, I'm going to be using my Fenty in 110 mixed with my last few little drops of the Catrice HD. Sorry for the noise. They're apparently beating the shit out of each other. Apparently that's what boys do to friends. Anyways, I'm going to use the last little bit. I think it may be done. This may be last use of the Catrice HD liquid coverage. It is a little bit too dark for me right now, so I've been mixing it with the 110 and Fenty. I do have to say like... This foundation is so light. Like, no hate to anyone who is seriously this light, but like, girl, that's light. <laughs> no, I can't get any more out. Yay, foundation done day. I'm going to do a little bit of concealing and highlighting. I'm going to do mostly the Kylie Skin Concealer under my eyes, but I'm going to add a little bit of shape tape, like right, you know, right in the center of the face to brighten a little bit. All right, I am starting to run really low on time, so I'm just going to keep it really simple. Um, oh, Brows Tarte Amazonian Clay Brow Pencil. I haven't set them yet because I like to wait till all of my powders are done because if I set it, they're wet then powder gets into it, turns my brows weird colors. So I'm gonna take the Becca bronzer and bronze Bondi just all over my face, really simply, really quickly. blush, I'm actually going to do the Sigma Aura Powder in Corderosa. My skin's feeling a little ghostly, so I'm going to want to warm it up. For highlighter, it's going to be my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, which I have hit pan in the highlighter. That's going to be the next highlighter I'm going to work on. For eyes, I'm going to keep it incredibly simple. Since I have this Tarte palette in front of me already, I'm just going to take Sweetheart, the pink, neutral pink, such a beautiful color, uh, lid into crease, probably Funny Girl on the inner corner, and I'm going to do ColourPop Come and Get It on the lid. It's one of my favorite shades, and I haven't actually worn it in a while. To be honest with you, I really am liking a lot more clean, simple eye looks. I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not that talented. While I appreciate the incredibly intricate work and I like looking at it, it's not what I want on my face. I honestly just want to look pretty. All right, I need to throw a little brow gel in, just clear Ardell clear brow gel. Keep these suckers in place. I'm going to pop off camera and do my eyeliner and mascara. Sorry, I don't, I don't 
know, I took too long with foundation or something. I need to leave in 15 minutes. Uh, Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon, and I guess Urban Decay Troublemaker. I'm trying to use it up. I'm not crazy about it. All right, and last step is lips, keeping it neutral. Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pillow Talk. And to be honest with you, my lips are so incredibly dry. I think I'm just gonna slap some lip balm on, which I will grab from my purse momentarily. And done. Now I need to get dressed. It is like time to walk out the door right now. So hair getting curled, not gonna happen. But I think I have some time in between uh, going to lunch. I'll be able to come back home, have a little bit of time, then go to my date. So I probably will put a little bit of curl in it for that. So if I have time, I will check back in with you then. Hey y'all, so it's a little after four o'clock. I came home from lunch with my family and just totally passed out. I had my tummy full of delicious Mexican comida and I just uh, out too many carbs. <laughs> I figured I needed to like touch up my makeup. It actually looks really good even for face planting for an hour. And I was going to uh, put a little bit of curl in my hair, just make it look a little bit more even. Um, let me see how much time I have though. And I actually want to add a little bit of color to my lips. I'm just going to take Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Naked. I've also never once curled my hair sitting down, ever. So we will see how this goes. This is not perfection, okay? This is not like, oh, this is how you do this. I'm just going to do big pieces just to get some really natural waves. So I just picked up this Beach Club Texture Spray uh, from the brand IGK, I guess is, is the name. I'm sure you recognize, you know, the label, the brand, etc. from Sephora. I see it all the time in their marketing. It smells freaking delicious too. It's tropical and coconut smelling, but not like too fake, you know what I mean? Like it actually smells, I don't know, kind of natural and good instead of just like a fake coconut. So I'm going to use this as like a light hairspray today. Okay, and there we go. I am gonna let it like cool down a little bit. It's not gonna set well, um, but at least it'll set a little bit more than if I go through and try to finger toss it right now. Yeah? Uh, would you be willing to order me food? I will order you food. You're done. Yeah, of uh, course. Yep. Right, yep. Yes. Panda E? Yep. Same thing as uh, orange chicken? Yeah, orange chicken and then uh, chow, chow mein. Got all. it. Okay, no worries. And, yeah, no. God, I love Uber Eats. All right, y'all. Well, I am going to run. Wish me luck. This guy is incredibly cute. He looks like, I think it's Ricky Martin. I do, like a young Ricky Martin. He looks so familiar, and I can't quite put my finger on it, but I think it's Ricky Martin. Anyways, um, yeah, incredibly cute. So wish me luck. Hopefully he's not a total dick. That would be nice. And I will see y'all in a couple of days in my next video. Don't ever forget. It's perfectly okay to just be small town famous. Love y'all. Bye.